Hi, this is Tim with Gazelle. I wanted to take a few moments to share with you some important things we've learned about making your reminders more effective. This is especially important if this is the first time you've looked into using an automated reminder system. The first thing you will want to do is to draw a line in the sand and divide your clients into two groups. Keeping it simple is important, and if you want more groups, you can always add them later. The first group we will call pre-existing clients for everybody who is currently in your database. The second group we will call new clients or for new clients going forward. Now, if you're really adventurous, you can go ahead and add an optional third group here that we would call the slow train. We'll talk about that at the end. But for your existing clients, you will want to set the reminders up to accomplish two very important goals. First, you will want to introduce them to the concept of automated reminders and give your clients a way to opt out. Using automated reminders are about serving your clients and helping you stay on top of your office work. Present this to your clients and most of them are going to opt in to getting the reminders. Second, you will want to make sure that you don't blast them with a ton of email right away. Most people will be okay with a simple introductory email followed by a simple email or a phone call once a month until they respond. Using this system, most of your clients should respond over the next 8 to 12 months, and within a year, everyone will be accustomed to the new system. Now, for all new clients going forward, you have an opportunity here. But for these folks, you need to remember the rule of 12. In this day and age, it is going to take on average 8 to 12 reminders before someone responds or books an appointment. Let's put this into perspective. If you send them one reminder a year, it will take on average 8 to 12 years before they book an appointment. Sending reminders more frequently is generally better, but you need to keep a few things in mind. First, mix it up. Don't just send them a bunch of email. You want to try to send them a mix of emails, phone calls, or text messages. Now, text message reminders are coming soon to Gazelle, but for now, consider giving the clients four emails and four phone calls over the first two months. And then slow things down a bit if they don't respond. Uh, what we do in our company is we actually send out 12 reminders over 10 weeks, starting about a month before they're due. We found that this works really well. Now, the words you use matter, and if the client doesn't respond right away, change the reminders to say, do you want to continue servicing your piano? Ask them a question, rather than saying, do you want to tune your piano? We found that asking if they want to continue servicing their piano receives the best response overall, because keeping a piano serviced and tuning a piano are two very different things to your clients. Now, if you created that third group we called the slow train, then if people get back to you and don't want to receive a bunch of reminders, then you have a good place to put them. In all likelihood, these are the people who are really going to service their piano once every five to ten years anyway, but th putting them in this group is a lot better than just deleting their reminders altogether. For people on our slow train, we're only going to remind them once every three to six months, right? And so they're going to get somewhere between two and four emails a year. Uh, Gazelle's life cycle reminders are super flexible. So if you want to try something different than this, just let us know and we will gladly help you set them up. Uh, but this is a lot of the feedback we've received from folks that they say is a really good way to get your reminder system going. Uh, we hope you find this helpful and we look forward to hearing from you later.